AITA for misleading my family about the gender of my baby? Reddit has spoken, and we've agreed that my husband will no longer surprise his mom. We'll just say we don't know and address any hopes for a girl with a request to stop pressuring us. We'll also make it clear that there should be no visible disappointment if it's a boy, and if it's a girl, she should never be treated differently than the boys. This message will be consistently delivered. For those concerned about our boys, we're very careful about addressing behaviors and setting boundaries with anyone in contact with our kids, and we'll set clear expectations once the baby is born. These will be strictly enforced. Thanks for the input, and I realize now I may have worded my post a bit too seriously. The parents would have likely just called us a sneaky and been happy, but we don't want them spreading the untruth any further. We will simply share the actual news and try to keep the excitement fun. We were also surprised at how many thought we were being dishonest about finding out the gender so early. We feel fortunate to live in a place with accessible healthcare, and we're grateful for the availability of NIPT. Thanks again to everyone who contributed, especially those who stayed kind. I am 11 weeks pregnant with our third child. We already have two boys at ages 2 and 4. Neither set of grandparents knows about this pregnancy yet, and today we found out that our third will be a girl, through NIPT testing, which is over 99% accurate. This would be very exciting news for both sides of the family, but we're considering telling them that we're expecting a third boy instead. Here's why. My mother-in-law literally shouted Yano yeah, when we revealed the gender of our second boy, after keeping the first a surprise. She's also told me several times that I need to give her a granddaughter. I've repeatedly responded that she'll get what she gets and should not be upset, and if she wanted a girl, she should have had one herself. She only has one son, my husband. We know my MIL will start sending clothes, she lives in another country. As soon as she hears the news, she even sent girls clothing for our first, hoping it would be a girl without knowing he was a boy. We're concerned about how our two boys will feel when things arrive for the new baby, but not for them. This likely wouldn't be as much of an issue if it's another boy since we already have a lot of boy stuff. I want to avoid the potential drama if MIL treats the unborn baby girl better than she did my boys. She already shows extreme favoritism toward her niece over other children in the family and sees nothing wrong with it. We'd like to avoid Mael coming to visit immediately after the birth, she came a few months later for the boys. We feel if it's a girl, she'll want to come as soon as possible, but we want time to settle first. Our eldest was born a code blue and needed resuscitation, and before him, we experienced a miscarriage. I'm concerned about the additional pressure to deliver the first granddaughter for both sides of the family. We think it would be a great surprise once she's born if she's revealed as the first granddaughter on both sides of the family. We can't claim we don't know the gender because we're both very organized, and our family knows we would have found out, as we did with the first two. We are worried, however, that telling our parents she's a boy when she isn't could lead to them buying gendered clothing, or they might be upset with us for misleading them for six months. Could this backfire on us? Would we be in the wrong? Any advice is appreciated.